So the, other than temperature and anisotropy, you can also have chemical effects. And the easy thing for me to say here would be, well, this is beyond the scope of this class, so we're not going to talk about it much. But the truth is, it's really beyond the scope of my knowledge. You guys are probably better chemists than I am. You know, I'm, I'm a mechanician. I'm a mechanics guy. And so, um, you know, the idea here is that this has to do with capillary wicking. So, essentially, the fact that you know you have some water activity that's inversely proportional to the salinity of the rock. So, if you're drilling mud, is less saline than the formation fluid, then that's that's gonna there's gonna be an osmotic effect that that brings water from the from the drilling fluid into the rock increases the pore pressure, which will increase the stress and can lead to breakouts. So this is an effect. It's sort of a secondary effect, but it could happen. And, it, and, it, and it's, why, um, well, it's why there are so many different, it's one of the reasons there are so many different types of drilling mugs. Uh, and, and so you know, it, it, is a, it, is a, it is something to be aware of and, uh, and can lead to, to breakouts if you have this osmotic motion due to the, the capillary wicking. Thank you.